beaver booger me. Couldn't have picked some other place to meet. Regis! Damn it. Locked. No way I got the place wrong. This is it. Gotta be. Gotta be another way in around here. Incinerate these to ash. That's some stench. Agreed to meet a vampire at a cemetery. How much more cliché can you get? <laughs> Nothing comes readily to mind. Could have left the door unlatched. What of my privacy? I value it rather deeply. Unmolested, especially by unwanted guests, that's my preferred state. Besides, I knew you'd find a way to get in. True enough. Need to find your friend. I'm hoping you'll agree to help. I shall do whatever's in my power. Yet what you want or even need must matter little. What matters is what Detlaf wants. If he does not wish to be found, you will not find him. Ever. End of story. Come on. Gotta be some way. Mm. 
Vampires can evade detection by the senses, and no divination magic works on us. Even the most precise megascope would be useless. And this? Could this help? Wherever did you get that? Off one of the beast's victims, found by a bend in the river. Body was chopped in pieces. Three of those pieces were hands. Hand with the ring seemed the odd one out. Abruxa had taken an interest in it. It's Detlaf's hand, without a doubt. It will do splendidly. The hand. What do you plan to do with it? You've heard of Kobinares' theory of tissue memory retention. Hmm. Rings a distant bell. Read about it in Alchemia Oblitera. There's a copy of Kermorin, tattered, nearly disintegrated. But if memory serves, Kobinares never managed to prove it worked. He did prove it. Just never managed to publish his findings. He and I corresponded, you see, after we became friends. Thus, I know he completed his research and performed the first tests. It's complicated, so without delving into details, it is possible to use any piece of tissue to reconstruct what a whole body experienced. How's it work? We need any special equipment? We must brew a decoction which Kobinaris gave a rather poetic name, Resonance. Once imbibed, it sends one into a trance similar to that induced by narcotics. This triggers visions of events linked to strong emotions experienced by the tissue's owner. Picture it as dreaming a fragment of someone's life. Any chance we might see what Dedloff was doing just before he lost his hand? Indeed. Though I also hope Resonance will reveal the location of Dedloff's hideout. Ring's pretty intriguing. Made of no metal I've ever seen, and the ornamentation. It comes from our home, where we lived before the conjunction of spheres. It's actually mine. I received it from a dear old friend. You might call him a humanist. He saw us vampires as guests here, guests who owe their hosts, meaning you humans and the elder races, respect. Respect? Meaning not to treat us like cattle to be slaughtered for food? Precisely and the reason why I, in turn, gave it to Detlaf. To remind him of the ideals my old friend championed. Covenarius spent half his life proving his theory. Wild guess. Making a dose of resonance won't be easy. You guessed correctly. In addition to Detlaf's tissue, we shall need a powerful occipital lobe stimulant. Effectively a poison to make one susceptible to visions. Hmm. Well, got a few ingredients to choose from. Unfortunately, all are pretty rare. There's Mamoon glands, the closest ones I know of are in Vizima. A spotted white saliva would also serve, but they were called to extinction over a century ago. Could go with a kobold's eyes, but the creatures are sentient. Rather not gouge one's eyes out. Hmm. Given that we lack the time to sleuth this out ourselves, permit me to summon some help. Was that a raven? Rather a common sight at this latitude. Very intelligent fowl. I asked him to look for the creatures you mentioned, him and his brethren. Perhaps they'll find one in the area, and I would hazard that a flock of ravens will spy any said creature faster than a solitary witcher would. With all due respect, your skills, my friend. It will take them some time, nonetheless. So, perhaps you'd care for a snifter of mandrake. 
barely say no to a snifter. Sadly, this is but a weak infusion rather than a proper distillate. Even better. I remember your Mandrake Hooch. Made people say things they'd have rather kept to themselves. Now, what could Geralt of Rivia prefer to keep to himself? Everyone's got some secret. I agree wholeheartedly. I also believe it wise at times to share one's secrets, unburden oneself to those one can trust. This your sophisticated way of asking me if I trust you? I prefer almost always to ask indirectly. It seems a test of intelligence, one you just passed. Hmm. Maybe you should go first. Reveal one of your secrets. After all, you vampires lead very interesting lives. Anything in particular interest you? Got a new life, new body. That give you a new start, blank slate? Starting all anew is a very broad concept. What exactly do you mean? Your blood addiction, say. Wondering if your body's the same, if it still remembers. Maybe if you drank now, you wouldn't get hooked. All addictions are a form of slavery. Re-addiction's not a risk I'm willing to take, just to test a hypothesis about corporeal regeneration and whether propensities carry over. Fair enough. Curiosity, that's all. Sorry. Not to worry, Geralt. Curiosity is a natural reaction under the circumstances, apart from which I've always valued that trait in you. All right, give you one question. What do you want to know? One question to ask one as fascinating as you, Geralt. Cruel parsimony, I'd say, but I shall do my best to make it count. If you were to die and be reborn as I was, in your new life, would you choose to be a witcher? That's what interests you most? Whether I'd like to be a witcher again? Many things interest me, but we've not much time left. Please answer. Never chose to be a witcher. Fate chose for me. Had it been my choice, I'd have picked a different profession. A profession where I wouldn't have to risk my life every minute of every day. Maybe even one that had earned me some respect. Thank you for being honest. Honesty is an attribute of the truly brave and thus a privilege of the very few. Still no sign of your winged friend. Sure it understood what you wanted? Dead certain. Let's wait a bit longer. It'll return soon, don't doubt that for a moment. Ever vigilant, even in his sleep. Quite vampire-like, in fact. Are you absolutely certain they don't administer a few of our genes during the trial of the grasses? Far as I know, none. Now what you got for me? You were right. No kobolds or mamoons for miles around. Knew it. Allow me to finish. You see, there's this spotted white. It haunts an abandoned residence in the Caraberta woods. Impossible. My brethren hunted down every last spotted white before I was born. Then it seems you must revise your knowledge of spotted whites. For somehow this one managed to survive your brethren's onslaught. Hmm. It seems I know this home it haunts. Recall a tale about it. Locals believe the place cursed. Perhaps that's how the white survived entirely unmolested. Hmm. Know anything else about this curse? I don't recall much in particular. Really don't attach much importance to such things. It was mentioned to me as an anecdote, no more. Come on, search your memory. Something, anything could be important. Hmm. I believe it had a relation to hunger, or, uh, no, um, perhaps greed, rapacity. Someone was punished for something... <laughs> Textbook definition of a curse, pretty much. Sorry, Geralt. I try not to clutter my mind with the details of every far-fetched tale I happen to hear. Hmm. 
What are your thoughts? A specimen of a species thought long extinct, and a curse, in one place. That a coincidence, or are they related? Ah, professional curiosity. Personally, I've nothing against you delving into this dilemma, but please remember we need the White's saliva. Nothing beyond that. Whites rarely appear in the woods, even less likely to find them in abandoned human homes. They inhabit remote wildernesses, old abandoned cemeteries. What's your point? This might not be a spotted white after all. Your little helper might have made a mistake. I sincerely doubt it. Ravens are devilishly intelligent creatures, and they've highly developed observational skills. What exactly did they observe? The area around the estate. It's covered in... spoons. Spoons. Spare me the skeptical smile. I'm but the bearer of this news. Well, perhaps this spotted white is a hoarder. Or the spoons are somehow related to the curse. Let's do this. Start making your decoction while I go get some saliva from that white. Uses it in its bruise. Do you imagine the white will simply sell you some? Worst case scenario, I'll bring you its salivary glands. They ought to do as well. <laughs> For a moment there, I imagined you asking the white to spit into a vial. <laughs> Quite amusing as a thought, but the salivary glands will do fine indeed. So, see you later. Yes, till later. I shall start by perusing some tomes. Tomes? Thought you were going to make this decoction. We require one last ingredient. Alas, obtaining it could prove a trifle toilsome. Thus, I hope to identify a suitable alternative. All right. Good luck. And to you, my friend. Move it! <laughs> Not so fast, Roach. Invisible? What's going on there? What? Oh, Come stuff. on. Myself, I like culture.
shall sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon you have shall say to you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. Sounds like a curse, all right. Somebody's clearly obsessed. Regis mentioned the place might be cursed. Can't be a coincidence. Need to look around. <laughs> 